Hey, good morning. It's Kurt Thompson. It's Tuesday, February 25th, 2020. I just wanted to kind of put some final words in about the Scooby-Doo Trumpet and Trombone Challenge. Wow, what a difficult, difficult challenge. Uh, just to recap, I announced it around the middle of January, and it was almost two weeks <laughs> before the first challenger uh, submitted um, their version of it. I'm trying to remember who that was. But anyway, two weeks later, that's how long it took. And so um, over the weekend, I went back and looked at my last big one where we had, I don't know, 20 or more people. And they got it in like right away, I mean, the next day. And it was a mission impossible. And I looked at the music and I just started shaking my head. When, if you, you can do this yourself, you can just search my name, Kurt Thompson, and then Mission Impossible Challenge. And uh, you, you'll be able to see the music in one of the videos. The music is 10 times easier than Scooby-Doo. So uh, uh, I guess I wasn't really paying too much attention. I just thought people, you know, probably could do it. But it had weird, weird um, chordal inter inter intervals, just like at the beginning. It's a very odd interval for, um, especially for an intermediate type of player to be uh, going for, or even advanced player. I mean, and it's way up in the stratosphere. So. Um, if you go back and look, you can do this if you just have time to kill. Look at the Mission Impossible challenge from two years ago and check out the music and then look at the music from Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is like 10 times harder. I mean, it really, really is. It's, um, that's, that's why we didn't have a lot of takers in this one. But anyway, it turned out well. I extended it and then it ended up, we ended up having just about, you know, a tie. And we had the tiebreaker, so all's well that ends well. And so um, I just want to say thank you and congratulations to the people that tried. I mean, you tried a very, very difficult challenge uh, and you put yourself out there uh, to, uh, to be um, congratulated or, or whatever. I mean, you just put yourself out there in the public eye. So you're to be congratulated. I mean, that's one good step in the right direction. So um, as I mentioned in one of my videos um, a couple of weeks ago, just for trying, um, I think I offered um, I don't know, you go back and watch the video. But just the, the people that just tried, they got a little something from me. And I'm trying to remember what that was. Maybe it's like a little 15 minute Skype, Skype consultation or something like that, free. So if you want to take advantage of that, um, it's your responsibility to contact me within one week from the end of the challenge. And that challenge ended on this past weekend. So we'll give you to this weekend. So it's Tuesday. So you have until this weekend to contact me and you by now should know my email, Kurt at TrumpetSizzle.com. If you were one of the contestants, do contact me if you want to grab that consultation, the coaching session or whatever else you want to call it. And for the winner, him, you need to contact me too and we'll set up um, the orchestration of the 16 week revised course and your video reviews. Remember, you're going to be doing one at the very front of the course after about a couple of weeks and then you'll be do doing one near the end of the course you know um, near the end maybe around week 13 or week 14 so I want you if uh, you're checking this out Tim which I think that you would have because you won it and congratulations to you go ahead and contact me before this weekend so you have until this weekend to contact me to claim your grand prize which is the 2019 revised 16 week upper register course for all brass players and you get that that's a $300 course it's my latest best course and you get that totally on the house as a champion of the Scooby-Doo challenge but make sure you contact me this weekend so we can get that set up and get it going I'm Kurt Thompson you probably won't see another challenge for me it takes a lot of time and I got uh, so many other things that I'm way behind on in fact, it looks like this year won't be my year to do the jazz trumpet. Uh, remember I mentioned that around Christmas. Jazz trumpet in Spanish, that was going to be 2020. I'm just so far behind on so many projects. It just isn't funny. It's sad. <laughs> um, you, you should see my to-do list for the year. It's just sad. I'm just so far behind. I'm not going to be able to devote the, the time and the attention I need to really become, uh, go to that next level in jazz trumpet. It's going to have to be next year, folks. I know some of you were um, kind of wanting to see, you know, how I would do riding on the second book, you know, in the big van. And that will happen. Uh, but I just don't have the mental energy or the physical time in my day to devote to what it really takes to uh, up my game in the jazz trumpet world. That's going to have to be next year. And probably so will my learning Spanish. 
Uh, but anyway, I got a ton of stuff I'm trying to do, kind of revamp the channel and a bunch of other stuff. Would you believe, for those of you who are killing time with me right now, I went back and did a search. I had tons of videos that have been on my YouTube channel, decent videos that only the the record one I posted it in my in my uh, community chatter tab there on YouTube they had 37 views now imagine you posted a video any kind of damn video eight years ago that people you know would like to be uh, privy to and, and get some information and it got 37 views versus uh, one of my videos the top videos um, uh, 350 thousand views right around there so how could that video do that? So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to um, put some spit shine and polish on some of these videos that for some reason I forgot about and they've just been languishing. And so I'm cleaning up the thumbnails and titles and stuff like that. So that's kind of my, uh, it's got my name written all over it. I got some house cleaning to do on my YouTube channel. Got so many videos and I got at least 200 videos that you probably have never heard of. Uh, because they're they're just buried and they have under a hundred views and they've been languishing for years If you go back eight years, let's just figure out the champion of Scooby-Doo Probably was in third grade <laughs> Tim, I mean that's how long these videos have been on my channel and no one has seen them for whatever reason I don't know, but I mean I went to the trouble to make those videos There's something of value for somebody out there. So I'm gonna spruce them up. Anyway, I got a ton of stuff to do this year I'm extremely behind and um, I have to get my channel in order and some other things before I can just plop down and just uh, think about jazz and creating melodies. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this share time with me, Kurt Thompson. Have a good happy Tuesday, end of February 2020, and I'll catch you in the next one. Listen to those birds sing.